welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion lifestyle and styling so today i wanted to show you guys what's new in my closet every single piece on here is affordable uh two of the items are on sale right now one of the colors of one of the items on sale but you can't return it the other one you can i think as a tall girl it's really hard for us to find really really stylish things as a new yorker Style is just something that I've always just been into, always looking put together, and having my own personal style. What I am noticing now is that a lot of people really do dress the same. And if you are a tall girl, you're not necessarily stepping outside of the box with your style, if that makes sense. So I hope this gives you guys some ideas on some of the things that you can actually get. So let's get into the video. But girls... I got both pairs for under the price of one. So I felt like that was a steal. I did get a size 41. They fit perfect. But I'm going to get into some of the difficulties when it comes to putting them on. If you have large hands, if you have thick calves, thick thighs, this is not the shoe for you. Even though it is a stocking at the top, there is two pieces on the inside, and I'm probably going to pop in like a short video of it. There's two pieces on the inside that helps you like pull the shoe on. Once you get that part, you're fine. But it's just like actually getting it above the top of your foot and the back of your foot. But once they're on, they're comfortable. They feel comfortable. My toes feel fine in them. And again, I got a size 41. So when it comes to putting them on, they do give you instructions. To me, if you have to do this, they know the difficulty <laughs> in putting the shoe on. And I know some girls are going to say, I don't have time to do that. But there are girls who walk around with Christian Louboutins and they hurt. These do not hurt. They're just kind of a task to put them on, if that makes sense. So on this card, there is like five different steps on how to put the shoe on. And the first step is like you pulling the stocking down. Then you are like getting your foot inside of the shoe where the zipper part is at, they want you to kind of like pull out the two pieces. Then once you get your foot in, you pull it up and then pull it all the way up. If you have thick thighs, it's not going to be for you. Okay. So I'll show you guys the first color that I got, which is the ivory color. And the ivory color is really nice. If you're not into ivory, it's not it for you. They say ivory, but they do have, it looks whiter on camera, but they do have slight of a yellowish tint to it, in my opinion, which I do not mind because I have a lot of stuff in my wardrobe that I can wear this way. Even if I decided to wear like a camel color, I can do it with this. Very, very cute. Back in the day, I used to wear Solomon's. A lot of people used to be like, what are those on your feet? <laughs> um, but I just like them because of the hard bottom, the details on the bottom. And they were just a, more of a structured sneaker for me. I like them. It does say Margiela 6 on one side, and it does say Solomon on the other side, so that's their collab. But it's really, really cool. It has a zipper on this side to pull down. And then those two little pieces, let me see if I can grab them. <laughs> These are inside. They should have been a little bit longer, so it wouldn't be that hard to pull them. But there's one in the front, and then there's one in the back. And you just like get your foot in and then everything else is fine after that. I really like Solomon sneakers because I just, like I said, I like the structure of the sneaker. I really don't like to go with what everybody else is buying. Um, and that's solely because I've never been 100% a trendy girl uh, at all. So if I like it and it fits my body, my feet, if it's jewelry, if it fits my hands, if it's a hat, I'm going to get it. You guys know they do not cater to tall women out here. I'm not plus size, um, so that's another struggle. So I'm just tall and slim. And then I have big feet. <laughs> so when I find things that I like, I'm actually just going to get in multiple colors, okay? If you know anything about me, I'm going to get it in multiple colors. So here's the, the ivory color. If you look at the video, I have them on with a white romper jumpsuit. And this is my jumpsuit from Lamarck absolutely love this jumpsuit you guys already know i love lamarck and i love the leather that they carry i have probably every single blazer probably except for two of them immaculate quality leather if you have not purchased a lamarck leather jacket definitely get you two three or four of them considered oversized so for a girl who's tall like me 
or even slightly uh, plus size, I would say. I think that it's a really good blazer to have. It won't fit you as oversized as it would somebody who's average height and quote unquote average um, U.S. standard wise. It may it's gonna fit you oversized. So if you're slightly bigger, it's gonna fit you how it fits me. Slightly oversized, but not super oversized. Um, but if you're smaller, it's definitely gonna be oversized. This is the first pair. And then, like I said in the video, you'll see me with them on. I pulled them up. You're going to see me pulling them on my leg. Again, I do not have big legs. I used to have bigger legs when I used to work out with weights. Now I got a little jiggle jiggle now. <laughs> so it does pull up and it sits there. If you have um, a really thick thigh, I would recommend sliding them down just a bit so they're not really squeezing. If you can get them up, then wear shorts or something that hits like right above it so it doesn't show that it's like squeezing your leg. I hope that makes sense because if you see me in the video, my shorts are kind of long, so it's hitting like right above it. So you can't really tell that it's actually like pressing on my leg a bit, but I can pull them down like a little bit above the knee and they still have a really, really nice look to them. So this is the ivory color. Absolutely love these guys. Um, I'll I'll link them from multiple sites below because um, they're on sale in different places. So instead of paying the full price for them, which is five ninety, you can pay like two thirty something for them, and you know, get your bang for a buck. Let me know what you guys think. So that's the first thing that's new in my closet. The two pair I have the black ones, and I have that almond vanilla color <laughs> which makes sense why it has like a yellowish tint to them if you like the video so far make sure you are hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel all right let's get into the next thing so let's get into the glasses that i got i got a pair of i'm gonna come in so you guys can see i got a pair of glasses from tom ford and i got these so they can go with my my yellow manolo blonix and these are a pair of aviators. Now, they are considered men's glasses. They're considered men's glasses according to the website. Um, but it comes in this really beautiful brown suede and leather case. And the glasses are just wrapped up. Of course, it has like a nice inside. It's nice. Thing for your glasses to wipe. Tom Ford. They're a really nice pair of shades. And I got these from Satire. That's the booklet. This comes from a little wrapper. Now, I can take this off now because I don't even have scissors, guys. Hold on. All right, so I pulled off the tag. And here are the glasses. I don't know if you guys can see the beautiful yellow tint in them. But I'm going to put them on. And again, they're considered men's glasses. Now, I will say what I feel on them is that they feel like they're coming in, but they're very, very pretty. These are super, super cute. They're going to go with my Manolo Blahnix. I think they're going to be super cute with like denim or denim. Very, very stylish. Very, very cute. Yeah, nice. They had another pair. I'll link everything for these because I did find these on Fashion File and um, not Fashion File. The other site. I forget. There's a couple of sites that have them. Um, I'll link where I got them from, which is Satire. I think it's called Satire. And I'll link them from the other sites that I saw. But very, very pretty yellow glasses. I hope you guys can see the tint in them. Very nice. So this is new in my glasses collection. Absolutely cannot wait to wear these with all denim and my Manolo Blahnix. I'm going to rock these too. I can't rock them no more. <laughs> Okay, girls. And the other two items that I got are from Kos. And Kos, you guys know Kos is like a um, sister store to H&M, but they have better quality. H&M has just fallen off like just, I don't know, I've never been an H&M fan. It's kind of like Old Navy. So they have like a slight sale. Um, This was like last week or something like that, a couple of weeks ago. I just never showed you guys, but I am a belt girl. Back in the day in New York, I used to love leather belts, and they had this really nice leather tie belt. Um, it's just nice. Like, 
and you just tie it around you. You can style it with like a long white dress or something or anything, to be quite honest. And you just tie it. It was 50% off because the original price was $100. It is 100% leather. It's nice. They have really nice leather pieces. Y'all remember those gloves that I bought that are so amazing. But it's a really nice belt. And you just kind of tie it around you. And then you tie it in the back. Very nice. It's not structured, so that's good for this type of belt. But it's long enough to tie it around. Um, it is a one size, but I will say that, you know what, I think a lot of women can wear it regardless of size because it's meant to wear in your smallest part of your waist, if that makes sense. So if you are considered plus size, depending on the size, I think you should be able to wear it. And if not, you can go to Etsy girls because there's a ton of small uh, little small little boutiques that sell nice belts like this and you can definitely find one um and the other thing that i bought which is the last piece are these earrings i have them in silver i think i showed you guys this already but they have them in gold as well and i absolutely love them they're a clip-on these was also 50 percent off the original pair that i bought was the full price which was 50 bucks um but they have them in gold and they're really nice they're like different size um, clip-on earrings. Super cute, super simple, nothing major. Absolutely love them. But that's it. This is a, just a short video of what's new in my closet. Like I said before, as a tall girl, it's really hard for us to find really nice things that are going to fit um, our frame, fit our styles. A lot of us do struggle with finding certain things, but like I said, as a New Yorker, my eye is always on the lookout for something that I know is going to fit my body. And I think that would go well with my personal style. So I try to show you guys things that I would wear and kind of give you guys ideas on what you could actually try. Especially if you're not used to stepping outside of the box. For a girl who's tall, who may not have confidence in being tall, you may not want to wear something like this. But trust me, you can do it. Try it out. Screw the naysayers and just try something new and enhance your personal style. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you guys enjoy every piece and item that I purchased in the video and show me, and share with you guys. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on tickety tickety talk. Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.